open source technology play in the Internet of Things? I think that the core capabilities of the Internet of Things is going to be implemented in open source. And I believe this to be true because the core infrastructure for the Internet has always been at its heart based on open source and free software. So all we're doing is extending what we already have in the Internet into this new domain called the Internet of Things. So there's going to be a set of protocols and frameworks which are going to be based on open source that are going to provide the core building blocks for the Internet of Things. And what are the main advantages of open source in this context? There's a, quite a few. Um, even if we take out the aspects of privacy and security and the freedom that you get as a user from having access to your source code. Let's just you know, ignore those types of topics, but just talk as sort of economics, mm -hmm. for example. In terms of scalability, the ability to scale um, with the Internet of Things is going to be required, it's going to be massive. We're talking about 50, 80 billion devices. And if there is software that goes on those devices which, are, um, which are, there's money attached to, that, that scale just will not work. Um, and there are always alternate business models that allow people to, the, to compete on different kinds of business models to make sure that that code becomes free. So that's one thing. Then the next thing is innovation. Um, the ability to, for developers to freely mix and match code uh, and try and experiment different things um, without permission, without mm. needing to go to some vendor and ask their permission on whether or not they can try something, means that the scale and, and the pace of innovation is much faster with open source than with proprietary code. Um, the third is interoperability. The Internet of Things is going to be incredibly complex, and the degree to which we can mix open source and open standards uh, means that we'll have much greater interoperability between devices from different vendors. And fourth and the last one <laughs> is developers. Developers in this day and age want to have open source code so that they can get the code that they need to start their projects without seeking permission, without, filling out, uh, without talking to procurement. And that only happens with open source. So in terms of enabling um, the millions of developers that are going to need, be needed to implement the, open, the Internet of Things, open source is by far and away the best way to do that. How will the IoT market look like in five years? I think that there's going to be a lot of changes. Um, I think that the, uh, uh, some of the new projects that we have at Eclipse, um, like the new Vorto project uh, from Bosch Software Innovations, uh, which is focusing on creating an information model for the Internet of Things, yeah. I think is a, is a good example of the kinds of open source projects which are going to lead to a more interoperable, uh, more vendor neutral uh, uh, implementation of the IoT. Right now what we have is like a gold rush. Right, mm -hmm. Every single company that has anything remotely could be called IoT is showing up and saying they're an IoT yeah. company. Um, over time, I think that will settle down into you know, a smaller group of larger, more successful companies, um, some of which probably have not yet even started. They're still in the, their garage or something. Um, so there's going to be a lot of entrepreneurship uh, that will happen. Uh, but striving towards a more robust, interoperable, and scalable Internet of Things is definitely the direction that we're heading in. And Vorto is a great example of a project that's going to help make that happen. Thank you very much for this interview. All right. And thanks thank for you. joining Bosch Connected World. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. All right. Bye.